Hello everyone, my name is John Croissant, and welcome back to One Shot. Now, this is now the third time opening the game without Nico actually going to bed. And I've now opened up to this. Nico just saying, oh, this... This is giving me some kind of odd anxiety of what is going to be said next. Because maybe Nico might be finally catching on on what's actually happening when the world goes pitch black. Serena, let me know when you're back. I'm back. I don't know why this keeps happening. Oh, that's all there was to say. Hmm. Anyway, we are now back here. So we need, we still need to find the pen and we need to find the younger sister of this guy. Alola is all I have. I can't lose her. So... Hold up. I'm gonna go check on the lady who actually has the son with her. Now, for any of you who hasn't seen the previous part, we have, we gave our light bulb to a little lady surrounded completely by vines. So I'm going to go check on how they're holding up. Alright, I've already, oh my god. Whoops. Bruh. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, there's still that puzzle up there, but um... What's up here? Oh, it's shit. Huh. Wait, what is up here? <gasps> what? How did I not see this? It's the computer again. Uh, what do you have for us now, Mr. Author? Oh god, the music. Hello again, Serena. Hi! It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place in your machine. Do you see it? There's been a pop-up that says, do you see it? Um, what is the most... I know the desktop is easy to access. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh my god. I know you're not exactly that bright for a god, Serena. Oh, throwing shade at me, are ya? What? Bruh, my webcam stopped recording. Cringe. Why did it stop recording? Anyway... I know you're in a, anyway, You're throwing shade at me. Just poke around a bit, it's really isn't easy to miss. Oh my god, every time I minimize the camera app, it stops filming the webcam. Bruh. Anyway, so it's something 
that shouldn't be hard to miss. Hmm. Let's take a look around the desktop. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. <gasps> Wait! Oh my god! They changed the what? They changed the background. They changed the actual wallpaper of my desktop to the pattern that you need to fill out in that puzzle. What the hell? I knew there was something off when it, the entire wallpaper became purple. Oh my god. I'm... I probably should have prepared something to actually be able to record the desktop. I'm just gonna make a little thing to record my desktop with. Give me a second. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. Anyway, this here, it's the thing you need for the puzzle. <laughs> Bruh. So, yeah, that is extremely fascinating. So, I'm going to head back to the puzzle room, and I'm going to fill this out. <sighs> it truly is the most accessible place. And uh, I like how as well, the author, I'm just going to call them the author because that's what I'm assuming they are at this point. But anyway, they also did not even, like, explicitly say that it was a document. It's just the information. So, where the heck am I going? Okay, apparently I'm going towards the vine lady. Let's see how they're holding up. I'm not afraid anymore, thank you. It's the sun, relieving it with he her for now. God damn, how the hell did I mess up her? <laughs> anyway, let's head back up and find where the heck the puzzle was. Ah, here it is. But yeah, that's really cool. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So, top three dots. Alright. And then this, this, and this. Okay, let's see. And, uh, I need to fill out, well, only these three, but I'm gonna undo that, I'm gonna undo this, alright, what do we need, okay, we need this, this, and this, and then finally, no, finally we need this, oh my god, there has to be one in the center. Huzzah! And now the glitchy stuff. <gasps> it's a lot. Is that a lol? What the heck? Oh, what? Okay, so the thing on the wall, the wallpaper on the background has just decided to like become larger than. What the heck? Anyway. You saved me! Thank you! I was trapped in there for so long. So, are you Halola? You knew my name? Wow. <laughs> well, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh. Columbus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Of course. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. 
How did you know I was the, um, sire? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh! That's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home... world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. And so is your god. I am only a god of your world. I am not a god of my own world. By the way, just to clarify, I did not appoint Nico as my messiah. We just happen to fall into these circumstances somehow. I'm a very forgetful god, apparently. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not on the tower. Do you like this world too? I... yeah. Yay! Kalamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Wow, I, I was not expected. I'm, I'm being perfectly honest. I, I was not at all expecting the thing with the wallpaper. But good thing I keep track of what kind of wallpapers I have because I didn't, I don't, no, I don't think I have any wallpapers with that is predominantly yellow. I mean purple. Blah. Anyway, Kalamis! Kalamis! Alola! You're okay! Thank goodness! I was tr I was trapped in this- inside this room and it was really scary. But then the messiah saved me. Tr trapped In the ruins? Yeah! There was this weird stuff in the door. You know the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that. Oh my god! What the heck? Anything that. T anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you for enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> Bruh. I... Why? Oh my god, okay. So, you guys may have noticed that I have been coughing a bit in my previous vid- in my, some of my videos over the week. I actually completely ceased coughing, like, for most of today, and now that it's the evening, I'm coughing again. Bruh, I don't understand. Anyway, then, would you like to visit our house, Nico? Yes, of course. Yay, let's go. Oh. Oh, shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> Just kick it out of the way. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Nico, Nico looks like they're a they're about to just like have a meltdown that they didn't think of that themselves. Yep, I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't that far from here.
right. So, uh, welcome to our home. I, I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. What the hell? Here, we want you to have this. Oh, it's a fev- wait. Is it a writing pen? Is that a writing pen? <laughs> Look at Nico. Nico's always like so fascinated by everything. Oh, a feather! The edges are glowing yellow! It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh? Yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to Father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as a as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what Father would have wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> such sweet, such a sweet, such sweet siblings. Yeah, this might be the writing. Hold up, we still have the wool. What if we tried to combine the wool and the feather? All right, that does not. Wait, hold up. That's the strange journal. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book. Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me for sol Sultan Soltus Day. I don't know that word. I'm actually going to search it up just so I don't screw up the pronunciation. Solstice. Solstice. Wait, that's American. I'm not American. Piss off. Solstice. 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 I see. Solstice Day. He's the one that who wrote it, actually. He's also the one that who taught me how to read. Wait, so you know how to read it? And we have our own strange journal. Maybe you could help us. Ooh. I have a few more of his books somewhere. Actually, we have one of his books. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I, l I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Maze? Oh my god, I'm so afraid of mispronouncing everything. Holy sh Is that her name? She She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh, I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I, I think we might be already too late to save her. I know, but I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Can I give this to you? I hope the squares don't spread too fast. What if I try to use it on the book? I, I really need to finish this. Okay, so apparently we can't use... It's a book! I can't read yet. Our friend says he'll teach me when I'm older, though. Hmm. Oh! Is that, is that a fox? Oh, it's a plush toy. <laughs> it's a plush toy! That's mine! Our friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too, and she can even talk. What? I know. I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So she got me a fox plush for so sol. Did I actually already forget how to pronounce it? Solstice. 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 
going to lose my mind over this solstice. Okay, oh my god. Oh, that's nice of him. He's the best. It's a fishing pole. Do you like fish, Nico? Yeah, so do we. They're good in stews. Or soups? But I know some people back home who like to eat them raw. Oh, oh, oh god. Humans, us humans, we usually never eat any kind of meat raw. At least, well, it depends on the kind of meat. Some meats can be, actually, smoked salmon can be eaten raw. Whatever, I'm not going into this. Ew. Yeah? It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. It's a... Oh, it's just the same dialogue, isn't it? Okay. Fireflies! Coals. They're cold now. Alrighty. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no! Uh, I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. Three days! Bruh! Okay. Hmm. What if I gi give him the wool? It's good to be home again. Whoa! That's a pretty necklace. The robot lady from the Barrens gave it to me. You've been to the Barrens? Yeah, Serena and I came from there actually. But I thought you came from another world. Ah, I, I, I just meant we were there first before we got to the Glen. That makes more sense. I like how you don't question the fact that Nico mentioned another person. So, Alola seems to react to everything that we actually bring to them. It's a, it's a pretty feather, isn't it? I'm still not sure what to use this wool for. I'll deal with it later. Is there any mu- Wait a second. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like we might go into that back room at some point, but there doesn't seem to be much else we can actually do here. Hold up, there's a section to the right. Oh! <gasps> oh! Hey! I saw you. I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. <coughs> Aww. It's clothes. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. I. Once again, <laughs> I really like the landscapes of this game. Like, besides the story, I really like the level design and the ambience music and stuff. I just... <laughs> I just really like all the stuff about this game. It looks like it used to lead to somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while si I'm using the wrong voice. Bruh, bruh, uh. Yeah, the sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim and- What's the sacred grounds? 
It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Oh. Oh my god. So the father left and the mother's gone. Oh. This is so sad. Well, her, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. He take sometimes he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll get come back. I wish we could go see Mom again. Oh. Come on, Alola. Let's get back to the courtyard now. Okay. Who is... Hmm. This friend seems quite peculiar. Because... <coughs> hmm. Fish! Fish! <laughs> Fish. It's a ball. That's mine. He doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Oh. Is there anywhere else I can go here? But anyway, let's see if we can use this feather to write our name into the scroll. That scroll that the giant robot has. So is the big robot out here? Yes, he is. Have you found something to write with? Oh, so this isn't what we use. Hmm. So, it glows in the dark. I wonder what we could use it for. Hmm. This is quite interesting. And also... Maybe... Because... I've noticed as... I Something I realized as of the last episode is that some of the events actually conspire when you close the game or when Nico goes to sleep and wakes up again. You're heading to the city, aren't you? Been there, done that, too cramped, you know. But it's not like this place is getting any bigger with the rising waters and all. Hmm, maybe the city's not so bad after all. I'm gonna... <sighs> My RAM's clock at 1,333 megahertz. What? God damn it. Technical jokes. Does anyone know what I can do with this all? You. <gasps> oh! You'll... I think I have something I'd like to trade. You like... You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you. This fine vial of... I'm not sure what this is, actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Oh. Hmm. How about it, Serena? <laughs> take the offer. Uh... Another interesting because there could be other things on sale. I'm gonna take the offer. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. Bottle of dye. Can we put. Hold up. Dark blue. It that could be used as pen ink. Yes! Aha! 
so the wall wasn't that useless after all. Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. Oh, so... That's implying that your world also does not really use those kinds of feather-based pens anymore, like how our so human society no longer uses them. Interesting. But yeah, we're gonna go to the scroll, and we're gonna get our names marked in the great scroll of whatever it's meant to be. And we're hopefully going to progress onto the next area. We're, we've, we're actually making progress this time. I, I'm really happy about that. Because last, e well, last episode, the only real progression we made was herding the rams and then talking to the maze. I found the pen, sort of. In indeed you do. But are you not forgetting something? Oh, the sun! Oh no. Oh no. Are we gonna find her- Are we gonna find May's dece deceased when we get back there? Uh, God, I hope not. God, I hope not. Well, I mean, even if we do find Mace deceased, at least she had some comfort in her own, maybe, inevitable death. Some people <laughs> would rather just have their person just not die at all, but in the circumstances of inevitable death, you might as well make their death as comforting as you put. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> the sun! The sun went out! What? Oh, but oh my god! Oh no! Oh, that's horrible! Oh, there's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn? She must have left it behind. It's a seed apparently left behind by Maze. The, 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 the lights are going out! Oh, Serena, do, do you know what happened? No, I don't. I, I genuinely don't. You really? But, but, oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, it literally just lit up as you picked it up. It lit up again? Phew. Oh, rest in peace, Maze. I hope you have a better life on whatever, well, assuming there's an afterlife, I hope you find peace in whatever afterlife or whatever happens after death. That's, that's actually really sad. But what can we use the seed for? <laughs> I have a pen and the sun, good sir. I found a pen, sort of. Good. Please write your name here. <laughs> good luck. So, it's off to the next area, and oh boy, it's another era area with no ambience. Oh, this is a drastically different- now we're like up in this tall complex. Oh god. 
I really don't like the ambience. Oh, oh my god. It seems we've been permanently trapped in here. Oh my god, this ambience is actually unsettling. What in the world? I... It's best we avoid it. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Oh! Wait, is that the tower? So, is this the city? Oh my god. This is drastically different. There's all these giant buildings, these catwalks suspended in the air. With bit. Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Oh, it's not the city, it's the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm suppo- oh, it is the city. I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where is the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright, thank you. Off you go, then. I wish you luck. Off we go. By the way, I just got interrupted by a family member. But... Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? Oh, hello there! Come on! Come on! You look like a human being. Too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're. You! Ah, uh, jeez. I didn't think I was gonna run into. This is embarrassing. Uh, is there uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but... Yeah, just take a look at it. Uh, it, it looks like an elevator! <laughs> Nico, that's not the point! <laughs> well, you're not wrong, but... Go look at the button panel. Huh? There aren't any buttons. Yep, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something? I tried looking everywhere for it. To no avail. May maybe it exploded. Exploded? Dude, if it exploded, the entire but button area would... Do, do you think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Also, I've just noticed you are very tall. Do do you think you'll be able to make that button? Well, no pressure, kid. I'll just stick with my original plan for now. Time to kick the door again. My foot hurts. Huh? I'm losing so much time. Probably two minutes of work already. I hate this. So, you're that per- Oh. Righty oh, that's just torn off. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> this 
there's already a thing that we could do. Wait, he just said three minutes. It's actually counting how much time has been wasted since he started trying to do this. <laughs> Bruh. It's the bed. Wait a second. So now we're at the bed. I am really enjoying this series a lot. And I'm so glad I got this game and now am playing it. And I'm especially happy to be able to express my feelings, my commentary to an actual audience. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before we... Before I finish up the episode, let's... Let's see the next dream sequence. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Alright, so the game's now shut down. And now... I have to go get the game up and run again. Give me... One moment. Okay, so I have reopened the game, and oh my god, I need to turn down the brightness of my webcam. Bro. So, this is new. Very new. Pretty sure this ain't Nico. They're wearing an apron. Is this the mother of Nika? It is. Well, at least I'm assuming it is. Because at the very beginning of the game, Nika mentioned that he, they were just with their mama before they came to that, the world that they are in now. And, uh... That's a very tall pile of pancakes. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Serena? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes. <laughs> she made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. So your favorite food is pancakes. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes, I do. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? I do like pancakes. <coughs> Me too. On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes a base pancakes, and some of the neighbors make really good noodles, and oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Oh, so... Nico... So based on the information I've gotten from the dreams, Nico lives in a village? And it seems to be, based on this information, an agricultural village, because in previous streams, Nika was in a giant wheat field, and now she's- and now Nico's mentioning that one of their neighbors makes bread. Do you have any neighbors? I do. Oh, do they share their food with you? <laughs> nope. I live in an apartment unit. I don't know any of my neighbors. That's not very nice of them. Our neighbors and my mama take turn making food for the village each day. Well, the thing is, I don't live in a village. I live in a city. So, everyone also takes tur turns doing chores and watching the little kids. So, it seems to be both a agricultural town and one that's very focused on community cooperation. Quite the opposite <laughs> to Sydney. I mean, Sydney is a community, but we don't focus on coming together as a community, really. But, uh, anyway. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. <laughs> 
I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. So, that's where I'm gonna leave off this episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't expect to make so much progress in this one video, but I did. And now, it seems that we're closing in to near the end of the game. We've met quite a variety of characters since the beginning of the game. There has been the author. If I am, if they're not the author, please correct me on that. But as of right now, I am calling them the author. Anyway, there's been the author. There's been the head engineer, which was either Kip or Silver. It was one of those two names, and then there was the robot, the robot outside of the electricity building that was the second character that we met. And then there's been, well, there's been the lady with the rams, Alola and Kalamus, Kalamus, whatever. And now there's been this guy who is extremely frustrated with an elevator. But yeah, anyway. I'm going to leave it off here. I hope you all enjoy this video. And uh, if you liked it, leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.